about your standing techniques. It's very easy as a jiu-jitsu guy, especially if you're new and you came into jiu-jitsu with no prior grappling experience, which is what I did. It's very easy to be intimidated by the standing game. Because with the standing game, it looks like a whole new world. You have a whole new set of techniques to learn. There's all these different new things that can be thrown at you. You start getting really, uh, really kind of overwhelmed. You start forgetting about all the stuff you've learned already. So what I like to do when I'm trying to teach students to get used to standing, get used to working their standing game, is think of standing as another version of guard. So if I'm standing against Daryl, I don't want to be between his legs, okay? Because Daryl has a Daryl has a, has a strong guard. If I'm between his legs, he has a lot of control. So I'm trying to make angles. I'm trying to get around him. I'm trying to get grips to control him. A lot of my grips are very similar to how I'm going to control him in guard. You know, I want I want sleeve control, so I can start getting this away, get stuff get stuff moved out of my out of my out of my path. I'm trying to get around his legs. A lot of my throws are going to come from moving out. You know, if I'm doing like a you know, some basic judo stuff. I'm coming here. So I'm starting to step past that guard. This is strong because I'm outside of his guard, right? A lot of it's going to be very similar to the guard mechanics, the guard principles. Between his legs is generally going to be bad. So if I'm working the single leg finish here, this is where this is probably the best illustration of. I get all the way to this position. I'm kind of hugging this leg. It's it's bad for me to start going in. If I start if I start moving his leg out here, I'm going into his guard. He has a lot of control. It's okay if I'm kind of passing using the half guard position as a way to way to advance my position because half guard is a good transition period, good transition point for me. If I'm here, if I need to, if I need more leverage than this, my, my basic finish is gonna be stepping out and driving my head into his thigh here. If I need more leverage, I want to pass his guard, right? So I'm gonna step out, hook, and start elevating his leg here. Now you can get pretty pretty high with this. Uh, some guys call this a, a treetop finish. Just an elevated single leg finish is fine. Uh, for my purposes, it's getting this up nice and high. So now I'm outside Daryl's guard. I'm a little safer. Okay, there's a couple dynamic moves you can use to counter this, like a scissor takedown, but um, they're pretty few and far between. There's not very many. There's uh, very few people that are super good at them. Um, a friend of mine, Riley Body Kill, was one of them. So don't do this to Riley. Anyways, so you're here, leg nice and high. My basic finish. So I'm going to come here, kick his leg out. You've got to be pretty mean. Got to get your leg out of the way. If you're not, if you're not, uh, if you don't follow through with this. You leave your leg kind of hanging, they're gonna land on your knee. It's not very good. So I'm here, step into him, boom. He goes down. Now look how he's turned his back. Now I can start jumping in and start taking his back here. You see that mechanic of getting that leg across used, uh, we're gonna use that a couple more times. So we've used it standing. We look at it using, using uh, we look at using it from the turtle when we're kneeling, when the space is collapsed. So it's gonna be the same concept. We're just gonna call it setting the table. Get that leg across my hips so we're super strong. I'm outside of that guard, nice and safe. So you'll see it come up more. Mm -hmm.